What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? It's your girl, Lady B, and you're tuned in to KT TV and Treats. And this is another TV review. This is Hustle and Soul Season 3, Episode 3, The Chicken King. Hustle and Soul is giving me a lot, y'all. They just, they, I don't know. It's, it's not as real as it used to be to me, honestly. It feels like Anna's trying too hard for ratings or something. Or to try to make it seem like she just knows what she's doing. I don't know. It's just a lot going on. So, Cola has made the decision at the last episode that she basically quit the pink teacup. But she didn't officially quit because she didn't tell anybody. She just, if she quit, she just stopped going to the job. So, Cola didn't show up to work. So, Anna's basically like, that's a no call, no show. She fired. And... She tells the twins this, but she didn't officially fire Cola because she didn't let Cola know. So, Cola quit, Cola fired, Cola don't work there no more, whatever. And it basically mad because she like, she had talked behind my back, but I write her checks, blah, 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 whatever, Anna. Um, the new girl, I forget, Nikita, Nikita, whatever shorty name is, the twerking girl. She just ends up coming in late that day and Anna's just in a bad mood but she lets her start because Anna looked like she wanted to send her home but she was supposed to be working with the girl and she doesn't want her twerking that day and all time it was just randomness at the pink tea cup villa Lawrence is trying out new dishes he got this papaya dish with shrimp and watermelon all types of stuff on the skewer and it was a lot a lot it looked like it was going to be expensive a lot. I was, this is what I agreed with Anna with. It was like, ain't nobody buying that. Do you know how much that costs? Yeah, I, I felt like, I felt her on that one. Because he was doing a lot. He trying to do a lot with this restaurant and make it a soul food, Latin, Miami feel. And just innovate himself. <clears throat> now, every I hear a little man whining in the back, he just woke up. Um, Lawrence is trying to decide if he's going to go back and check on the PT Corp New York. Of course, he does have two businesses. He does have to check on his other business. But Anna does not like him going back and forth to New York too often, of course, because of Thandy. Y'all know him and Thandy got a pass. So she don't like him going out to New York randomly for long periods of time. So... John John Cola, Nikki, and the twins and Breezy go to the beach. And we find out a little bit more about about Nikki. Nikki is facing a charge that can send her away for 15 years because she got into a fight with her cousin. That's why she says she don't be into a lot of the pink teacup drama because she already fighting assault charges and whatever else that she's dealing with. So she don't want no problem. She don't want no drama. John John tells her the best thing ever. Then you need to go ahead quick because uh, he ain't nothing but drama up at Pink D Cup, honey. As we can see. I didn't understand why the twins and John John were just so lovey dovey, cutty cutty, happy to see each other when I swear the last time they was all around each other, I understood they like made up. But I didn't think they was like the best of friends because of one of the twins sleeping with Cola and the issues, whatever, but glad to see that they all on one accord, whatever, um, John, John, John and Cola, and Cola's family, Cola's family love John, John, it's evident they want John, John and Cola to get married, and John, John is just not on the same page as Cola, John, John ain't really, really settled down, John, John can't even tell Cola that he got a new girlfriend yet, but the family talk about babies and marriage and all types of stuff. And I'm sitting here like, does nobody know they're in an open relationship? This has not been said to anybody. Oh, okay, well, I guess not. Um, yeah, I just, I'm glad him and Cola finally sat down. He finally was honest with her and told her he was seeing somebody else. And they should be thinking about babies and all that stuff when he's dating someone else. And <clears throat> it seems like the new person he's dating, they're actually not in an open relationship. 
but I'm not quite sure, like, is he ch technically cheating on her then because he keeps going out with Cola or what's going on or if he's in an upper relationship with her as well because the preview for next week, I'm sitting here like, oh, well, I'm confused because he was making it seem like him and old girl was, like, exclusive, so I'm not sure what's going on with that whole ordeal. Um, Anna decides she wants to do a commercial for the pink teacup. This commercial was almost more horrible than the Mary J. Blige crispy chicken wrap commercial. And y'all know which commercial I'm talking about. That crispy chicken, fresh lettuce, that Mary. Mm mm. Mm -mm. Mary sent us back a couple of years with that one. And Anna was trying to send us all the way back to the plantation with this one. She had the twins in chicken suits dance. No, no, no. She had them in chicken suits twerking. She had all the girls around him twerking. She had Lawrence in a king's chair with a crown and a robe on. I didn't know what this had to do with anything that had to do anything about chicken. I hope she does not put this out. Even though she kept telling the like, well, he should have got up earlier because I already got my dang on commercial like that. Nothing about her setup and what she had for this commercial, scream commercial. And I was with Lawrence. Like, this has nothing to do with me selling chicken and waffles. This has nothing to do with me selling chicken. This is a terrible idea. This is not what my business is about. This is not how I want to represent my business. And if she thinks that's the way to represent her business, she crazy as hell. I don't care if you are in South Beach. That shit was tacky. First off, we black. I felt him. My grandfather would be shaking and turning over his grave if he seen chickens dancing. Baby, baby, no. No. But hey, Lawrence mama. Mama um popped up and he had her some fried green tomatoes, baby, and he made me want some. I'm like Lawrence. Hi. <clears throat> I like fried green tomatoes. Can I get some, sir? I I like I like fried green tomatoes a lot. Can I hmm. He made me hungry, y'all. That was about the only thing that made me like real hungry. Baby, the scene when a twin sat down at the um couple's table and ate <coughs> a piece of the wife's food. And the husband like, I ain't paying for this shit. He just wholeheartedly just ate a piece of my wife's waffle. Like, I'm not paying for this. I like to that. I was like, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. But we see that the restaurant is bigger than what we think because, you know, they only seem to film, like, on the bottom level and on the outside. It's a whole upstairs level to the villa. The Pink Teacup Villa has the upstairs, downstairs, and the outside. That's a lot. That's a big upgrade from the Pink Teacup New York. I ain't even gonna lie. Maybe it wasn't a whole lot, a whole lot of that was going on in Cali. Well, I'm sorry. They in Florida. Whatever they in Miami. It wasn't a whole lot of lot. I have a whole lot of whole lot of going on down in Miami. But baby, after that, the video, that commercial, and Lawrence decided to take his butt back to New York, honey. The end is what made me stir. Cause I was just trying to get through the episode. I'm watching the episode like, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, cause it was it was like the episode wasn't nothing, nothing to the end. Lawrence decided to go back to New York. He was going, going back, back to New York, New York. Yeah, I mixed it. I mixed it. Damn it, I mixed it. So he goes to check up on the pink teacup up in New York. He gets there. He greets Sandy. She's happy to see him. Now, let me get y'all a run there. Because <laughs> they start the episode off with Sandy, right? And Sandy's giving this whole rundown of her fantasy world in her head. 
Now, I'm going to call it the fantasy world in her head from me because it got to be the fantasy world in her head because in her head, um, y'all don't judge me for saying this in her head because I don't know in what reality she thinks this is really going to happen. Because the man is engaged. Lawrence is engaged to Anna. He proposed to Anna. They're planning a wedding. This is what's supposedly going on. But in Sandy's head, she loves Lawrence. Lawrence loves her. They will be together. They will one day get married. They're going to have kids. That's her man. He loves her to death. She loves him to death. Anna is just there for the time being. And in the end, they will be together. Mm. Y'all don't see how that's in her head. And that man is in Miami with a whole nother woman with a relationship and they have a kid together. Oh, okay. He cheated with you. Yes. Don't get me wrong. But he left you in New York, went to Miami, got engaged to his to his now fiance, his baby mama. And they living in Miami and they don't even come to New York often. It's in her head, y'all. It's in her head, y'all. Anywho, so he goes to visit. Sandy's so excited to see him that she's pumping his head up. You look good. Look at that Miami sun. It look good on your melody. You look good. He like, is that something new to your head? That looks lovely. I love your new hair. You, you like it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I did something new. And he said something. <laughs> He was a nigga about it, y'all. He tried to be as nice as he possibly could. But it was a nigga moment. It was a nigga moment to his side chick that I gotta cut you off. Completely. Cut you off. Baby, he went along the lines of, yeah, you know I'm engaged. She said, What's, come here, Tucker. Come here. He said, you know I'm engaged. She said, that's really happening. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. You gonna say hi to the people? No? You don't wanna say hi? You don't wanna say hi today, y'all. But y'all know this is Trey Trey. Oh, oh yeah. Let me see. Let me see you, baby. Y'all know my baby get whiny. Anywho, he tells her, like, you know I'm engaged. She said, that's really happening. He said, yes, that's really happening. Whew, bust your bubble number one. He was like, so, I know it's kind of hard, you know, settle down when you're in love with two women. Bust my up with number two. And he said that, she was, she was like, she was looking like, where they going? So, stop gritting your teeth. So, he like, I understand, I know. I wasn't trying to lead you on. I'm not trying to lead you on. I'm not trying to do anything like that. And I care about you so much and different things. But what happened between me and you was a mistake. <sighs> Y'all, when he said what happened between me and you was a mistake, my face was all whoop. I was like, oh, shit, wait a minute. Baby, because you can see it out there in his face when he said it. Like, bitch, what? Well, what did nigga just say to me? Because you can see in her head the little mouse on the, on the wheel start to move it. And it was like, <clears throat> it ain't no knives under here right now because I ain't making no drinks and we didn't close down. Where's the nearest knife? Because if I can, I'm going to stab this nigga. Because he playing with my emotions. And I felt her in that moment. Even though this heifer is crazy, I felt that that energy she was giving. I was like, oh, she finna stab him. Oh, he going to die today. He gonna catch some hands or something. You might never just look her in her face and tell her what y'all had. And the things that y'all did was a mistake. You finna get married and that day is coming soon. Baby. He was like, I ain't know what we got. I mean, it's, it's be done. 
why he opened his mouth and opened his can of worms when he came back to New York just to f with this girl. Just a mess with her. She making you coin, honey. Coin. I don't think Lawrence expected. I kind of think he expected it because I could th I'm I'm a I'm gonna give Lawrence the benefit of the doubt. He seen a look in her eye that it was about to go bad. But he ain't think it was going to go bad like it went. Because Sandy got some hop about her. Some about being a little short. I'm going to give it a short girl thing. Because Sandy got some hop on her. Because baby, Sandy cleared that bar. And me it swing, she cleared that bar. She bust on my man's and jumped the bar, kicked him, punched him, poop, poop, poop. Boop, boop, boop. Security grabbing Lord. She kicked him. She double kicked him in the chest. Through the chest. Off the stool. Lord was on the ground. Security trying to grab him back. They trying to grab her up. She steady kicking and screaming. And he trying to go make sure she okay. Tell him to let her go. Let her go. I don't know why they decided to take them in the same direction. I think Lawrence was trying to check on her. He was trying to get to her. And because they started going the same direction, she got off a couple more swings on them as they go into the back. I mean, boop, 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 boop. She was not happy about nothing he had to say. Babe, what we had was a mistake. Oh. And this is right after Lawrence makes the epiphany that Sandy has never trusted anybody in her life. She didn't trust her dad. She didn't trust none of her exes. And he has gained her trust. Baby, she gonna kill you. We gonna see a little a whole newspaper clip in the Lawrence if he keep playing this game with this girl. Because Sandy don't look like she got it all. Sandy look like an episode of Snapped. Dandy looked like she probably didn't committed the murder and got away with it and beat the case once. Like, Dandy looked like she probably know how to dispose of a body real good. I'm just saying, not saying that this is this girl's personality. She's saying, this is what she looks like she could possibly do. This is the reality of life. Now, I say this. On top of the fact, when she decides to leave out, she grabs her bag. But in her confessional, my girl is chuckling. And I mean, it's that, hmm, he got me fucked up chuckle. Talk about he can't get rid of me that easy. I said, oh, this bitch crazy. This bitch crazy, crazy. He don't know who he fucking with crazy. Oh, this bitch gonna burn down the whole restaurant crazy. Slice you up and burn down your establishment crazy. And then come to Miami and fuck it up up in there too. Oh, she nuts. She said, I'm not going out like that. Oh, Jesus. Next week episode. <coughs> oh, the previews for next week episode. I can't. This is about the realest situation on the show for me. If it was Sage, Sandy gave me everything. Because that was crazy black women all day, baby. But, y'all, that was hustling. So, I'll see y'all next week.